cooking. Right, who's hungry? Is that time of the night? We've had a good meal. We had a good bit of tucker there. It's getting pretty late. So old Simon goes, I'm looking for something sweet because he's looking a bit skinny there and I'm going to get a bit of fat on him. So what I'm thinking is we'll make some fruit coconut caramel dumplings. And you're like, you're looking at me silly, aren't you? Because it's like, this is a dessert. So it's easy to make and that's what it's all about, making it easy. So what I'm going to do is, now you get yourself some butter. So you need big helpings of butter. Now this is to make the caramel sauce, okay? So we're going to start with that first. So big slab of butter. So if you're trying to lose weight, this ain't for you, trust me. Now we need to get that melted before we add the brown sugar, which is gonna make the caramel sauce. So let's get that happening. All right, while well that's melting, we gotta make up the fruity caramel dumplings. Now you need flour, that's the one thing you need. I don't know how much, we're just gonna tip a bit in. About that much will do. Whatever you think, you only wanna make a few dumplings. We're not gonna make a heap. All right, so we're gonna need some liquid with that. So we're gonna need some milk. Don't put too much in to start with. You just gotta get that texture right. So now you want them quite dry so you can handle them, so you can turn them into little dumplings. We get some sultanas in, chuck a few of these in. Oh yeah, here we go, I've got a bit of caster sugar. Chuck a bit of sugar in. Yeah, about that much. Keeping an eye on our butter. So we've got vanilla essence. Pour in a solid helping of that. I like the old vanilla essence. Coconut dumplings with some with some uh, fruit in, or sultanas. We're gonna chuck in a little bit of coconut. Now we mix all those together. That is our mixture. And the trick is, get a bit of flour on your hand so you can handle it. And if you look at that, there's a little dumpling. They're gonna cook in that caramel sauce. But first of all, we need to get that caramel sauce happening. So, so we'll bring them over here. Now you gotta use brown sugar, all right? I don't know how much, about that much, a bit more. Let's start with that much. We'll get that back on the stove. And nicely mixed up. Be very careful with it, you don't want to burn it. All right, so we'll let that simmer away. All righty, it's time to add the dumplings. So that's, a, that's just a, like a rich, creamy mixture. We've got the dumplings, we're just gonna place them in. So they're just gonna sit in there. Now, put the lid on. Where's the lid? There we are. Now I'm gonna let that simmer and I'm, gonna let, I'm not gonna let it heat too, too much. Just enough so it's sort of just bubbling away nicely. Now what'll happen is that'll start to cook and it'll start to caramelize. And then as, as the heat goes into the dumplings, they'll start to move and rise and all that that caramel sauce is just gonna ooze in through it. So we'll just wait probably another, I reckon give them another 15, 20 minutes and we'll be good. All right, so they're cooking along nicely there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the end of my spoon and I'm gonna push that in there into one of them and I'm gonna check it. And if you look at that, when I do that, nothing comes on the end of it, but I reckon I reckon we're ready. So here we go, we're gonna pop them out onto a plate. Now I'm gonna get a bit of this sauce. I'm gonna dribble a little bit like that on top. As you can see, it's very, very thick. All right, so we get our cream. This is where you can get a little bit tricky if you want. There we go. Now I don't know about you, but have a look at that. That is just, I don't know, you'd, you'd get that in a restaurant, wouldn't you? Except for the, um, uh, the uh, the plate, you wouldn't get that type of plate, the old camping plate. Dinner time, dinner time. This usually works, by the way. You dinner don't time. you don't have to ring that, mate. I can smell them from over there. <laughs> that was quick. Were you like somewhere in the vicinity? <laughs> Just there, mate. There. <laughs> smell one away. I even mate, brought my spoon. Look, there you go, mate. Hook in. See what you think. I knew I bought you for a reason. Did ya? <laughs> what? They're great. What do you reckon? Oh, you can drizzle sense. that bit of cream on it, and the cream takes the edge off the sugar, doesn't that it? Because it's rich. That is sensational. Well, seriously. Is it? Mm. Oh, there you go, folks. They are good. <laughs> They're damn good. <laughs> damn good. I don't know about you, but that was the easiest dessert you could ever make. Camping. That easy. Okay.
Time to sit back and watch the moon come up as the ships go by.